Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. And today I could just go wheel. I have been playing with the embossing paste. And this is my first go at this product. I haven't had time to use it yet, but I have some really neat things to show you and a few little tips and um, some additional uh, products that make this a lot easier to use. So if you're not familiar with embossing paste, hang on for this ride. If you are familiar with embossing paste, I hope that you'll find some um, good tips in here and learn a little something new on my, wait, what? Wednesday tip video. So here is the embossing paste. And this is a jar of paste. And it comes with a little um, silver foil on the top of it. You peel that off. We also have these palette knives that are really handy for mixing colors and doing all kinds of neat little techniques, but embossing paste is, I don't know, it looks kind of like whipped cream to me. I'm not going to taste it, <laughs> but um, it looks pretty cool, and I had a lot of fun doing this. We also have the Pattern Party Decorative Masks, and we've got like a triangular one here one that looks like kind of little bricks. We've got one that matches our Eastern Medallion suite and also some really cute clouds. And I've seen a lot of people using these clouds and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to get this out and try it, right? So let's get started and I'll show you how fun and simple this is. This is a silicone mat and I'm just going to use this to kind of protect my work surface and I can take this away and and rinse it off or wipe it off with a baby wipe. There's a whole bunch of different um, techniques that you can use with this embossing paste and I'm just going to show you a couple things today with it. Maybe I'll have a chance to play with it a little bit more and I'll show you something new next week. But what I've got here is a couple pieces of our glossy white cardstock and um, I like to use this for sponging because it just gives you a better surface to sponge on, and this is a whole technique in itself. So I'm going to bring in my Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, and Peekaboo Peach ink pads. And I'm going to sponge some color onto my glossy white cardstock. And see, I just like the way that glossy white blends so nicely. When you're using a darker color like this, you want to take a real soft approach to your sponging at first. And then as the color dissipates on your sponge, you can push a little harder. And you can see that the Lemon Lime Twist is a lighter color, and so it's not so prominent. So you want to keep that in mind too, as to whether you need darker color or lighter color. And this is Peekaboo Peach, and I just chose these three colors because I think they're my three favorite. And I thought, oh, let's put these together. So sometimes that's how that happens. There's not a lot of rocket science that goes on sometimes in this stuff. But I just thought they were pretty colors together. So here's our sponged background. And now I'm going to bring in one of these Pattern Party um, masks. And I think we'll do the bricks here. I kind of, I really do like the bricks a lot. I'm just going to lay this down on top of my silicone mat and my glossy cardstock. Now, when I use this paste, I like to put it on the back of my palette knife. And then I'm going to smoosh it around. And I'm just going to make this very random. I really like that look. It's kind of eclectic. And we have that new eclectic stamp set that I'm really having a lot of fun with, too. So I'm just going to, there we go, easy peasy. And this stuff dries relatively fast. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, if you'd like, while this paste is still wet, I just wiped off my brush and I would take it around the outside edges if you had any paste that went over the edge and it's kind of sticking out past the edge, but isn't that just cool? I'm going to let this dry and let's try another piece. Oh, the other thing I want to tell you is you want to wash this off relatively quickly. The paste 
dries super fast. And if you want to keep your um, masks nice and clean and pristine looking, you're going to want to, you can take it to the, your sink and just rinse it off. Or um, because I don't want to leave you hanging and go to my sink, I'm just using a baby wipe. So I'm just going to wipe it off that way. Okay, so here's another piece of glossy white that I've sponged some color on. And now I'm going to bring in these triangles. And I want to do triangles just down the side of my layer here. So I'm going to bring in, this is just some scrap paper that I folded in half. And I'm just going to bring that in here kind of as a mask. And again, I'm going to use my paste from the back of my palette knife. I was really surprised at, I thought this was going to be like this great big messy thing. And it really wasn't. And that kind of surprised me because I thought it would be. Okay, ready? Ta-da! Isn't that beautiful? You can see here that I've got just a little bit of paste that ran over on my edge of my mask. And I'm just going to wipe that off. And then again, I'm going to take my palette knife along the edge here and get that off before my paste dries. But isn't that pretty? I just, I love this look. It's very eclectic. I could have covered the whole surface so you can make it very uniform if you'd like, but I kind of really like that shabby chic look. That makes me happy. So there you go. I am going to now show you a few cards and some samples that I did. Here comes the clouds, and that's coming from the cloud mask, which is really fun. I, I didn't have time to make up a card, but I do happen to have this little pig sitting here, and won't that look cute on there with some more embellishments and stuff? I think this is just gonna be so charming. So you've got a cute little cloud background. Then I've got some bricks on some basic gray cardstock, and I thought this looked pretty neat. This is another um, nice texture for masculine cards, too, because, well, men, bricks, you know. Okay, and then here comes the medallion-shaped mask, and I simply put it on my piece like this and put my paste over it, and then I'll put some type of a greeting right down here in the corner. These are super fun, super easy. I couldn't believe it. First time I've ever touched them and I opened them up and went to town with this and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. So here's what I did with the triangular piece with the little triangles on it. I stamped the you're the best and that's coming to me from the label me pretty stamp set. You are the best. Isn't that fun? And I used the sunshine wishes Thinlets. These are really fun thinlets. There's a lot of great stuff in there. And that just added the little accent that I needed here with my ribbon. And then the next card that I made is this one. And here's the bricks. They just kind of randomly go down the middle of my card. Again, I used the Label Me Pretty for the happy birthday here. I wound some black metallic thread around the back and mounted this on dimensionals. And then this is our fun new little sequin trim that comes in black. This is so cute. Banner triple punch here and a piece of our lemon lime finely woven um, ribbon there. So there we go. Fun stuff. Oops, I just touched that one. It's not quite dry yet. Let me wipe my finger off before I get it everywhere. So here's all my projects I made. I can't hardly wait to show you some more techniques with this paste because this is not it. There is a lot of different things you can do with this. So if you would like to order some of this paste and um, palette knives and pattern party decorative dies, you can hop on over to my blog, www.astampabove.com. You can also head over there and I'll give you all the details and some um, dimensions for the cards that I did make. So you can find everything in one place there. And if you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at I'd be happy to send you 
our new catalog. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it's huge, filled with tons and tons of stamping and scrapbooking products. Thanks for joining me today for my wait what tip video. I hope you have a wonderful week and add a little sparkle to someone's day and send them a card.